Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Chris Spencer, hello, hello, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show as I talk to people out of Dallas, Texas, across the nation. How are you? I'm incredible. Just trying not to eat up everything in the house. <laughs> That's supposed to end after the first two weeks, you know. Most it, people just found out they really had a house, you know. Right, right. I, I know I knew it was getting bad when I was having a sandwich sandwich. <laughs> you are getting bad. Well, let's get your mind on something else. You guys know, I told you I was going to have the opportunity to speak with Chris Spencer for you. He's the creator of The Real Husbands of Hollywood. Yeah, that, that makes us laugh. You guys know him. But he's here with something else all the way black. black. Chris, let me ask you this. How did you... How did you bring all the way black to the consciousness of a, such a large audience? Because being um, black is not always being popular. Yeah, but they've always wanted to be us. You know oh, what I mean? They okay. all, listen, you don't go to any other country and see other countries mimicking our culture like any... Nobody mimics our culture. Nobody mimics any other culture like us. You can go to Japan and see people wearing you know, sagging their pants and you can go to Iran and they got dreadlocks. Like everybody, you know, people who, who have no melanin are burning themselves up to be as dark as us. And they're putting injections in their lips and they're doing stuff to their nose and they're putting stuff in their bottoms. You are so unabashedly candid about being black. Is there yeah. a space for you to do this? Uh, uh, is now the time for this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially in the wake of, you know, all the drama that we're seeing on TV. We need to be proud of who we are. Uh, we need to allow our white friends to know that it's OK to ask us questions because a lot of them have remained ignorant to what's going on. And now they're calling us going, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. What can I do? Uh, you can start hiring some black people in your workplace. You can start to look up. <laughs> Uh, the history of the drama that we've had from the 13th Amendment to redlining to Jim Crow and really get to know your, your black buddy in the cubicle next to you. That's very interesting. I talked to one of my young listeners yesterday. She has a job with a very prestigious bank in, uh, in the banking system. And on her, she told me on her uh, weekly uh, corporate call, she had a breakdown. This is someone who's strong. She's got her MBA, someone who's going somewhere. She's working towards vice president. And she said she had a breakdown because she said none of her black colleagues had called her in the wake of what's happening. So young wow. millennials are feeling civil rights, I believe, for the first time. What do you believe? Right. I, I definitely believe that. You know, they've heard, they've read, they've seen but they've never felt it. And I think that's why the energy is so abundant out there in those streets. Yes, we have some idiots that are looting and, and, and vandalizing property, but for the most part, there's out there people who want to do good. They want to get in the face of this demon and actually make a change. And so it's great to watch these young people out there really, really energetic and excited about, you know, because we all get that wake-up call. You know what I mean? Like, we all, yes. you know, a lot of us, you know, we're, we're living amongst a majority of a different culture. You think, and they think you're, they think you're spiffy and you're great and you're, you're not one of them. And you just want to acquiesce and feel like, hey, you know what? I don't have any problems. I've never been pulled over by a cop. Never anybody called me the N word. And then when something like this happens, especially, it happened during COVID, where everybody was home and this man get murdered. Live. It wasn't a tape. We didn't see some blurry Rodney King beating. We didn't see, you know, Tamir Rice, uh, aftermath of that. Like, we saw this all together. And every person on the planet, except them, and not them, I don't mean white people, I mean the ones that, you know what I'm talking about, were affected deeply. The perpetrators, the provocateurs, and they were like, okay, I think what I've been doing is not enough. I need to actually step up my game and figure out what I can do to make a change. You hit it on the head because that was her response. What, she asked me, what did I do to make a difference? 
And I told her I make a difference every day by being who I am, by what I believe and what I say. I said, you'll have to yes. find your own space to make a difference. Okay, let's talk Absolutely. about your show, though, because you and I obviously could talk about this all the way. Let's, yes. Tell me about... Tell me about Black All the Way. This is just too funny. And it's not yeah, it's not funny mocking. It's funny hilarious. Thank you very much. It's a nostalgic look at all the things that we grew up with from, you know, uh, trying to, uh, you know, when your daddy comes out there and tries to do double dutch with you to uh, jerry curls and cornrows to the Jackson 5 cartoon to playing the dozens and dominoes. And we talk about some of our favorite snacks, like everything you can imagine has been formulated and put together uh, creatively and with humor in this show, All the Way Black, which premieres today, June 4th on BET+. We'll be there, Chris. I got to wrap up. You know we got to wrap up. But I want to thank you so very much for being a voice. I really thank do. You. Continue doing what you're doing, and we'll keep watching. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit Credit Help tx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon and get started living life divinely. <laughs>